Hey guys, so I'm traveling right now. I'm actually in Indonesia. So for those guys who's in Indonesia, um, Terima kasih. <laughs> I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. But um, yes, I'm in Indonesia for 1.5 weeks and I actually packed my things to the brim. And uh, yeah, I want to show you guys what's um, like inside a tech reviewer, audio reviewer's bag, and also a vlogger's bag. I think that might be interesting. So I want to start out with what uh, bag I use. Um, so this is kind of my travel bag. So when I always travel, this is what I always bring. So this is actually a Japanese bag. This is a Hakuba bag and I got this from Japan. I really, really like it because it's a, of course a backpack. Um, it has um, side uh, pockets uh, for cameras and also has a pretty sizable um, laptop pocket and also uh, like random stuff a pocket and also has um, a grip at the top so it will be easier to um, go around and uh, just you know lug this around and of course you have that um, kind of uh, luggage strap so you want to put that on top of your luggage so really really love this thing and all black design you know matte black everything this is the bag that I'm using so first I want to go from the top to the bottom so I want to show you guys what's the audio stuff that I bought so for a reviewer, I usually just bring um, the stuff that I'm currently reviewing and I'm currently testing. So let's uh, go with it one by one. So first is the Halo GT1 Pro. Um, so this, I haven't reviewed this yet. I actually like it. I did use it in the plane solely and I love the overall performance. The battery life there is really, really great. KZ-S1 uh, D. I love that thing. It's one of the better sounding ones, of course, in the $20 range. KZ-S1. So I'm comparing actually the GT1 Pro with the KZs um, and I'm gonna do that a full comparison soon and of course the Halo um, GT1. So I'm actually testing this TWS out, uh, more TWS content here in the channel. Of course for the music player, I bought only the Hebe R3 for this trip. Um, actually this is a surprise because usually I bring a lot more stuff like amplifiers and uh, bigger players but for this trip, only the Hebe R3 because I'm kind of compact um, kit and I do have a lot of TWS. I only have two ears, so I just uh, gone for a minimalist kind of route. Um, and of course, yeah, for audio stuff, I do. I did also bring um, some earbuds because I'm also reviewing the Vito R&B. So this, uh, the, the earbuds that I bought. So the Vito R&B, the 2020 version. So really, really cool. And yeah, I did unbox that already in my unboxing channel. Uh, I find it better compared to the Vido old version, which is right here also. So I do sometimes bring yeah the stuff that I'm comparing and uh, the old Vido is something that I want to compare with the new one. And of course, I did bring also um, the Nyshek um, earbuds as well. So this is one of my favorites in the $10 range. Um, so I did bring that as well. So this is what I bought for my audio stuff audio gear actually not a lot um, this is might be the fewest audio stuff that I bought for a trip which is surprising actually yeah this is kind of a light uh, trip for me um, of course here at the top I do have already my um, camera stuff so this is um, a wired lapel mic this is the Cinco um, mic M1 uh, so I do like this. this is my main mic now for z unboxing because I might buy um, something here in Indonesia and I want to unbox it with you guys. So I bought this just to make sure that I have uh, the camera or the, the um, mic to use for Zipple unboxing. I actually haven't done any Zipple unboxing videos yet. Of course, I do have the Rode um, Wireless Go, which is what I'm using now. Uh, of course, with my Fuji. So it's in here, but I'm currently using it. Um, next one would be my battery pack. So very, very important that you have a battery pack, especially for somebody who's a techie like me. Um, so this is a 20,000 mAh battery pack, quick charge. Um, this is the Anchor Power Core Plus. Um, really, really love this thing. So this saved me a lot of time. So yeah, really, really love this thing. I recommend you guys to have a big you know, power bank when you're traveling. Of course, I do have this thing. Um, it's for me when shooting with my mobile phone because in my mobile phone I do shoot sometimes with just the iPhone so I need this grip to be easier for me to um, do some b-rolls uh, more stable b-rolls as well so that's what I always use so I think it's just around five dollars so very, very cheap let's go and of course next one would be 
um, a CPL filter for uh, the camera that I'm shooting now, uh, the X-T2 uh, for my ultra wide angle because I do want to shoot some landscapes and you need the CPL filter for that. Next one would be, of course, uh, the laptop that I, I bought for the trip. Um, so actually, I went light for this trip. I just bought the Surface Pro. Uh, this is the older version, Surface Pro 4. I love this thing because, um, you know, you can draw on it. So if I have some ideas, I can just jot it down, edit, uh, Photoshop. Edit is a bit um, lacking for me, but, you know, um, you can just do some light edits on it. But I do love this because it is very, very compact. But th th that goes for the top portion, which is already quite a lot. I have another phone and Android as well. So here at, in this uh, portion of the bag, I do have my batteries So for all my cameras. So you have um, Fuji batteries and also, of course, um, some uh, Leica batteries for my Leica Q. So let's put this here. Yeah, I, you know, you need a lot of batteries because uh, I do film a lot of things. Um, actually, I do film more than I, than I edit, so I don't really upload everything. Oh, next one would be uh, in the camera um, pockets. So here in this pocket, I do have my movement lenses. Um, so this is what I use for iPhone um, film shooting. So I have the movement wide. Uh, actually, this is the tele and the moment wide as well. So I have those two. I want to show you guys quickly. So I love, love, love this thing because nowadays um, when I'm doing some like filmy, like uh, travel vlogs, I always use moment nowadays um, because it's just very, very easy to use. Um, it's an 18 millimeter lens and uh, it's really high quality. Um, it, you know, look at that amount of glass. There's a lot of glass that's involved. And yeah, definitely high quality build, also metal and build. I did unbox this already in my unboxing channel and super duper love this thing. I just use this all the time. And of course, I have a tele um, for, you know, telephoto. All right, kind of um, scenario. And uh, the tele really cool because uh, there's some bokeh, bokeh with the, um, using the tele, even when using the iPhone. So that's interesting. Of course, here in this pocket, I have my cameras now. So this is uh, my street photography camera. So this is the Leica Q. So this, um, you know, my one of my favorite, if not my favorite camera in the world. I cannot live without this one if I'm doing some serious street shooting. This is what I always use. Leica Q, guys. Um, yeah, super duper nice performance. Image quality, um, the bokeh is really nice. Uh, really sharp image. Um, and also, of course, the focal length. Uh, very useful for street photography. And also, uh, of course, the Leica render. The color is really, really nice in the Leica and the AF is really fast. I can't say much about the Leica Q. It's one of my favorite cameras. Next, on the other side of the bag is um, this is actually another camera bag area. So this is uh, my vlogging camera. So this, uh, what I always use for vlogging, this is the RX0. Super duper love this thing. Um, so this is what I use 80% of the time and I'm doing uh, travel vlogging. Um, super duper small, it has a flip screen. Look at that, super duper nice flip screen. So yeah, definitely that's something that you want um, for vlogging on the go because you do want to see yourself if you're um, exposed well and if you're in focus. Of course, uh, for the Fujifilm X-T2, um, this is my video camera guys, the X-T2. Um, and also my landscape camera, but actually for this trip, I use the RX0 like 80% of the time. Of course, I do have other lenses for my X-T2 and this is uh, actually the 56 1.2 and my camera bag is falling. This is my 56 1.2, really, really love the bokeh in this. Um, so I can't live also without this because if I want to do, you know, ultimate bokeh shots, I really need the 56 uh, 1.2, super duper nice bokeh monster. Um, it's different, really just different look um, when you're shooting with the 56 1.2. And yeah, that goes for the camera stuff here at this side. And of course, I want to go to this part. It is my messy cord area. Um, so there's also a lot of stuff here. Uh, but I wouldn't go that you know detailed here because this is really a mess. Uh, but usually when I travel, of course, I do bring a two terabyte um, 
hard drive. So of course, if I want to store, if I got crazy when shooting, um, I can store, have a backup of my hard drives there. Um, of course, uh, a lot of cables. So USB-C, um, Lightning, uh, uh, USB-A, uh, yeah, and adapters also. So yeah, this is the utility part of my bag. I just store everything here. And yeah, I don't like to elaborate on that, but that is the, the messy part of things. Um, so yeah, that is mostly what I bring. Um, of course, I do have um, sometimes, uh, of course, my, my two mobile phones. Of course, I have uh, the iPhone XS um, for my main shooter. I also have the Note 8 um, for Android on, you know, watching Netflix. Um, yeah, sometimes when I'm traveling, you need an Android phone because sometimes iPhone doesn't work in some apps um, when you're traveling. So it's a good backup to have an Android phone with you. And of course, my iPhone X, which is charging right now. That's my main shooter for um, on the go uh, vlogging when I'm doing some film stuff. So uh, actually all my film stuff, um, you should go to uh, Zipold Photo. That is my new channel for all my film stuff filmmaking stuff and camera stuff, I upload it there. And of course, for my vlogs with my RX-0, I have another channel, it's Zipolt Vlogs. So Zipolt Vlogs is for um, featuring maybe restaurants or food or just you know, me having fun, uh, me you know, um, sharing what I do in my life. It's in Zipolt Vlogs. So Zipolt Photo for all camera stuff, filmmaking, um, you know, films all there. Zipolt vlogs will be for my personal stuff. And of course, Zipolt here in the channel for my reviews. And of course, Zipolt unboxing for unboxing. I do have a lot of channels, but I know I'm having fun with just doing um, reviews and doing videos. And I want to have separate channels for that um, just to be easier to um, show to the viewers what the channel is about. But actually, let me know what you think of that, guys. Do you want it to be just in? one big channel or is it better to separate it? Um, because I'm thinking like uh, for people who subscribe in Zipol, um, who's into audio mainly, might be surprised that there's you know a food review in the audio channel. So let me know what you think about that, guys. So this is what I usually bring um, on a travel. And this is actually for me a minimalist kit already. So this is my minimal travel kit for 2020 let me know what you think of this guys do you have any suggestions that i need to improve on this one uh, what do you bring usually when you travel and do you like to travel also guys let me know also down in the comments below and of course if you learn something leave a comment and leave a like as well and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video goodbye